Yep, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm open. Fire away, guys. All right. Let's start with Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Steve. How you doing today? Doing great. Doing great. Good. Um, your um, depth at uh, your interior defensive line positions and corner look like they're going to really be tested on, um, on Sunday. Um, what are your thoughts about your depth there and how you felt like some of your new guys did at those spots, particularly Sneed and uh, uh, Tershawn Wharton? Yeah, I, I tell you what, very encouraged by what those guys did last week. I mean, look, at they were thrown in the fire. Um, you know, we had planned to play LJ quite a bit, and uh, obviously Turk had to hop in there with the injury. Um, look at Looking for those guys to continue to step up. We're going to have to get some other bodies in there. I thought Rashad Fenton did a nice job jumping in there last week. So those guys have gotten a lot of work this week. Certainly we'll get to work uh, through the rest of the week, and uh, hopefully they can step up and play well. Go next to Herbie. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Coach. Good morning. How are you? Great. Hey, um, obviously, when you prepare for when you prepared for the Chargers the two games last year, you had to deal with Phillip Rivers and Melvin Gordon. This time around, it looks a little different. What are you seeing after you saw their their tape against the Bengals, and what are some of the challenges against Tyrod Taylor? Yeah, I was with Tyrod in Baltimore, um, and I got extreme respect for him. He's he's one of I, he's a premier athlete. Now I know he's been in the league for a little bit, but I respect his athletic ability, what he can do when he tucks the ball down, how he can extend it down. I've seen it in practice. I've seen it in games when he's in Baltimore. So, excuse me, and, and at Buffalo. Um, got a lot of respect for him. I, what I saw last week was a, was a team that came out in the second half and decided that they were going to win that football game by running the football. Uh, and I thought they did it really, really well. Um, that was impressive to me, uh, the way they won the game, the way they hung in there. And I, I got to listen, they've got weapons. We know that. Uh, I have respect for the quarterback because I've been around him. So I, I know that our guys feel this. It's going to be a heck of a challenge. It's early in the year, and we need to find a way to win a divisional game. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Good morning, Coach. Uh, I was curious, what gives you confidence in, in this unit that if, if Charvarius is unable to go in, in this game, that you guys will, will be all right there for as long as he, he needs to sit? Well, I mean, look, obviously, uh, Rashad and LJ, if they have to go out there and play corner, um, haven't had as many snaps as the guys we've had there before. Um, it's good that LJ's got a game under his belt and that Rashad got out there a little bit and played a little bit last year. I think everybody, the other uh, nine guys need to step up. Um, we need to help them here and there. Uh, we need to make sure that the quarterback's not sitting back there with the ball too long. That's where our D-line comes into play. And, you know, I got to call certain things to help those guys out. So, all that in mind, hopefully we can wrap it up into a good package and, and certainly all 11 of us have some success, but make sure that those guys have it too. Let's go next to Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Steve. Um, I'm wondering with Frank Clark specifically, is that the best that you've seen him get off the line of scrimmage since he's been here? And I'm just wondering if, if that's just simply health or whatever. Um, do you feel like you have more options, not just Frank, but some of those other guys being healthy, more options to get to yeah. the quarterback? Now, I mean, the health is huge, and losing Alex uh, hurt us a little bit, and I think it always does because he's a guy that does a lot of different things for us. But getting to your point on Frank and the takeoff, I thought he did a great job of um, whatever he was picking up. And I, listen, pass rush and D-line is all about get off, uh, especially on third down or those passing situations. And I watched Frank yesterday um, work on that off to the side while they would, we were doing one-on-one -on -one against the old linemen. And it wasn't even one of his reps. He was over there working uh, get off. So I think he realizes how important that is. And I agree with you. He, um, he looked pretty good at it last week. Let's go next to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Coach, I know uh, Frank Clark and, and Chris Jones were getting a lot of the conversation uh, about the pass rush and everything. But it looked like, you know, they'd pretty much been just set free. Like, go get him. Like, and, and with a running quarterback and Tyrod Taylor's a guy that can have wheels, that opens up rushing lanes. They weren't there. Uh, can you can you explain why you were so effective? The, the other guys, right, around Chris Jones and, and Frank Clark that maybe did the not, not so glorious, you know, sack yeah. uh, pass rush part that enables them to be able to maybe not have assignment sound stuff they've got to yep. worry about and just go hell bent for the quarterback. That, that's a really, really good point. I think the, a name that gets lost in the shuffle here is TK. Um, He's all over the place and helps us out tremendously. I thought one of the things the guys did last week in those passing situations were, was that they were, what we talk about relentless in their pass rush. I always tell them that pass rushers keep rushing the passer. There's so many times in the league, whether you're sending four or five or whatever it is, 
that if they don't hit their first move, they tend to back off. And lo and behold, the quarterback ends up stepping up right in that area he would have been if he kept rushing the pass. But I thought all of those guys did a really good job of that last week against a quarterback that can be a real problem. Now, we got the same uh, challenge this week with Tyrod. Uh, so hopefully we can close a couple of those lanes um, and make sure that he doesn't hurt us with his feet. Uh, and, and listen, it won't be the exact same game plan. We like to change things up, but I'm hoping that in those instances they can perform the same way that they did. You bring up a good point about how relentless they were, and, and the, sometimes the other guys don't get the credit because it's the guy that gets the final stat. Um, but sometimes the, the other guys are the ones that uh, make it happen. And just as a follow-up, one of the guys that got in there, uh, we, we talked about Dana uh, throughout coming Mike. through training camp and everything. Yeah. I know Michigan played him a little bit inside and everything, but is he – and I know I know Brett Veach and the scouting guys do all the scouting, but I'm sure you looked at some tapes and yeah. gave an opinion on him. It, it, does he surprise you with his athleticism and quickness? Uh, that, you know, because it seems more than what he had at Michigan. Yeah, and not really. Uh, maybe it, I'm not surprised by it now because I saw it in training camp. Uh, I've told you before that Coach Daly and myself were thoroughly impressed with him right from the beginning, Zoom meetings, the whole thing. And then when he came out here, he's a real pro for a young guy. Um, listen, we all know his story. He was at a smaller school. He transfers to Michigan one year. He finds his way in there and plays a lot. And now he's kind of excelling here. And he's kind of mixed in real good with our guys. And we're happy we got him. Got time for a couple more guys. Let's go Herbie and then Steve to close it out. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Coach, as, as we're in the middle of the Zoom call, um, there was an announcement that just came out about the COVID fan that, that – or excuse me, the fan that tested positive at Arrowhead. Um, team just released a statement on that. What, what are your thoughts on – as you get ready to go into L.A. and there are no fans, you know, as far as safety is concerned, what are your general impressions? Yeah, I, I wasn't real aware of it, heard something real quick. Uh, I'd stand on the statement that the team made, but I will say this. I, I just think the protocol and the way – things have been going it's been really really good I mean I, I know I feel real safe um but other than that I, I don't know a lot about what you're talking about um but I feel I think our guys have done a great job and I think Rick and his staff have done been outstanding let's go to Steve Walls close out go ahead Steve hey what's happening Steve uh after the game last week Tyron said he was pissed off because he felt like the defense played well but gave up points at the end of the game uh, what was his message to the team at the end of the game? And what does that say about your leader, uh, about the leader of your defense being satisfied, not satisfied with just getting the win? What it says to me is he thinks like I do. Um, I felt the same way. And look, but you don't want to sour the fact that we won a football game um, because it's hard to win in this league. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I'm with him uh, 100%. I, I think when we get to that point where we can close the team out, I'd like to be able to do that and not let it get back to, whether it was two possessions or whatever the score was, um, especially when Patrick and the guys on offense are putting points up there. I, I, I agree with him 100%. Uh, I value his leadership, and I'm glad that he feels that way. Uh, and I think most of the guys are the same, to be honest with you. Uh, but they'll follow his lead, and you know, hopefully we can step it up. And I, I mean, we all thought we played just okay last week defensively, to be honest with you. Um, I'm glad we won, and there was a point there where it was 31-7, so it looks really good. Uh, but we, we'd like to play better. Coach, we really appreciate your time today. Thanks. You got it. Thanks.